Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. And the temperatures drop below freezing for this night game between the Army Black Knights and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. Well, we hope you're as excited as we are for this one. And here comes the Fighting Irish. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Army needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. i got to have to go with them, too. It's got to be the Black Knights in this one. Notre Dame will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. Number 44 fields it in the end zone. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Army. How about that return? Great effort there by the returner, reading his blockers and evading the tacklers. And the results, six points. Looking to make this crowd a factor. And he hits the PAT. Like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. I really think this defense is going to have a difficult time covering this talented athlete at wide receiver. They don't have anyone who can cover him one-on-one, -on -one, so he could be in for a huge day. He's the most dangerous weapon on his team, and there's really no one on the other sideline who can cover him. This game has all the makings for a big day for this young man. It sure does, and I'm ready for this one. Second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. They'll go with the fullback. He's hit and got away. Brought down in the open field. He rumbles ahead and picks up about five. Third and nine. Ball on the 20-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He's under pressure. He's looking down the middle. Tackle. That's how you convert third down, sweetheart. That was a good-looking play, wasn't it, Coach? Oh, yeah. This offensive coordinator must have seen something in the defense he really liked. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 43. One, two, three. Cut. 
They'll bring him down. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 44-yard line. Back to pass. Throws down the middle. It's deflected. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, Coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. Steps up, looking. The ball is tipped. Tipped away. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. Notre Dame lining up the front. Number 13 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 87 feels it at the 13, and there's a fumble. Recovered by the offense. First and 10. Ball on the 17. Nice play fake. Rolls to the right. Throws it to the outside. Touchdown, Notre Dame. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. on the extra point. on special teams today. Number 45 fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 18-yard line. The Black Knights line up in the power eye formation. They're going to pitch it. And they push him out. The running back scampers for 10 on the toss. Second down and short. Ball on the 28-yard line. Army lines up in the bone. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Makes a move. And down he goes. First and ten. Ball on their own 28. Power eye right, set. Looks. Rolls to the left. Throws this one out to the left. Intercepted. And they come up with a big play there, don't they, Gal? Oh, man. Defense looks very well coached on that play. That's what happens when 11 ball hawking defenders go full speed. They'll take over at the 44 yard line. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 44. 
Notre Dame lines up in the power eye set. Big dog, big dog. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. The running back gets two on the carry. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 42. They come out in a nickel. Drops back to pass. He's going right. The ball is tipped. He's lucky that pass fell innocently to the turf. Yep, total coverage on that one. Got to pick his destinations better. Notre Dame lining up the punt. Number 13 boots it way up there. Number 14 signals for a fair catch. Let's watch this defense and how aggressive they are. They were able to get a pick the last time, and they're like a wild animal. When they smell blood, they're in for the kill. Take it easy, coach. You get excited. Hey, that's right, sweetheart. I'm always excited. Let's see if the defense puts any pressure on him here. to the fullback, Jukbu, and he's taken down. How about that run? I'll tell you what, that last run allows them to take a deep breath and calm down a bit. First and 10, ball on the 16-yard line. Army comes out in a double wing. Here's the give, they'll drop him for a loss. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback in the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. Who's shaking bank move? Brought down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. It's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. They come out in a double wing. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That blitz couldn't have worked any better for the defense or any worse for the offense. Punt. Number 20 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 82 fields it at the 35. You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow ball replay to recap it. They'll go to work at the 43. stop a nice seven yard run by the fullback second and three ball right around midfield number 12 is in the zone and looking to make a play here's the give and he's taken down the halfback picks up a yard Third and two coming up here. Ball in the 49. The Fighting Irish line up in a goal line formation. He jukes him. Brought down. That line came off the ball. It just kept their feet moving and knocked them back. Good blocks and great running by the ball carrier also. Number 12 is the impact player, and he's feeling it right now. It's second down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Yard. 
They'll give it off here. They'll bring him down. That's a nice six-yard gain. Gain of six on the play. So another third down upcoming for the offense. The Irish come to the line with their jumbo package. Here's the give. Loses the football, and they hit him in the backfield. Talk about a close call. The running back put the ball on the ground, but the offense keeps possession. Yo, Kirk, is it somebody's birthday on defense? I don't know. Where are you going with this one, Chris? Well, it's got to be somebody's birthday, because this running back is handing out presents out there. Either that, or he's doing his best to get benched. Now I got you, Kirk. Bumble, birthday present. I got you. Again, he'll get the call. Not quite enough for the first. Looks like they'll turn it over on downs. You know what? I think they still made the right call. Yeah, it was worth the gamble, even though they didn't make it. They'll set up shot at the 36. Army lines up in the power eye set. He jukes, sheds a tackler. And down he goes. A gain of nine yards on the play. Nine yard gain on the play. It's second down and one to go. Ball on the 45. This sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Handoff, and he's stopped behind the line. Boy, he is one big guy down there on that defensive line. Oh, man, the big fella's a hoss. I saw him last night at the hotel. He had three bags of food going up to his room. Yo, it looks like he's got a big old bag hanging over his belt right now. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 44. Army lines up in the double wing. They'll drop him for a loss. That's not going to move the sticks. Well, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. Put this one away. Number 20 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 82 calls for the fair catch. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 20 yard line. Notre Dame going with the power eye. They make the stop. The tailback picks up six there on the misdirection. Second and four. Ball on their own 26. Inside give. They'll bring him down. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. It's third down and two to go. Ball on their own 28. Notre Dame will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll go with the fullback. Gets past the tackle. Brought down. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. Let me tell you something. The biggest compliment you can give a coach is that his team is playing hard. And you're right. These guys are playing real hard right now. First and 10. Ball on the 37. Yeah. 
on the ground, up the middle. And down he goes. They'll get two on that one. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 39. Second and eight. Ball on the 39-yard line. They'll line up in a double wing set. They're going to pitch it. He's hit and got away. Got some open field. And he's taken down. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. First and ten. This is the sixth play of this drive. They hand it off again. Brought down. Couldn't get anything out of that. Number 30, the ball carrier. No gain on the play. It's second down and ten to go. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. They come out in a double wing. Again with a carry. And they make the stop. The fullback bangs it in there for a gain of six. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. He'll get the call again. And they hit him in the backfield. Great play, taking him down behind the line of scrimmage. Man, he shot out of his stance like a cannon and exploded into the backfield. Notre Dame lining up the punt. He gets it away, and it's a skyrocket. Number 39 signals for a fair catch. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over at the 20. Him down in the backfield. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Second and long. Ball on the 14-yard line. The defense now really trying to get the crowd into it. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. Wants to throw outside. Someone got a hand on it. You got to be careful throwing into coverage like that. Well, Coach, I don't think it was a poor decision. It was just a great reaction by the man in coverage. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 14. They come out of the nickel. Back to pass. Looking under heavy pressure. Fumble. Loose ball. And they got him for a loss. And the offense came up with a ball somehow. The quarterback was very fortunate right there. You can bet he holds on to the ball with both hands next time he gets it. No surprise here as they prepare to put it away. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Number 82 fields it at the 50. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. Watch out for the man at wideout. He's feeling it right now. They go with a run. Tackle. That's a three-yard pickup. Second and seven. Ball on the 42. They better block that linebacker. He is looking to make something happen. And he's taken down. It looks like they picked up a yard or a little less. 
Third and seven coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Fighting Irish line up in a double wing. Drops back to pass. He steps up, feeling the pressure. Loose football. Number 52 recovers a loose ball. And so they lose possession on the fumble. I'm sure that quarterback will have an excuse for that last fumble. Huh, an excuse, huh? Well, guess what? There's an old saying that says excuses are like... Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, coach. I know how the saying goes, but we're live on the air here. Yep, you're right. But if he were my quarterback and came to me with an excuse, he would have heard the old saying. They'll drop him for a loss. No place to go that time, and the offense loses a yard or two. Nice job of plugging up all the gaps in the possible cutback lanes by the defense. Second down and 12. Ball right around midfield. Here's the give. A little juke. And they make the stop. A seven-yard run by the running back. Seven-yard gain on the play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 44. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That didn't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They would come with the heavy blitz, and guys were shooting through the line right into the backfield. That play didn't have a chance. The Black Knights are lining up to punt it away. He punts it away. It's a high kick. Number 39 calls for the fair catch. And they'll down it at the six-yard line. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I hate to see that. It happens again. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. The Fighting Irish line up in a double wing. Looks. Rolling out to the right side. Throws it to the outside. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. Second it's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Watch the linebacker. He's the star of the defense, and he's in the zone right now. And they got him for a loss. Army takes a timeout. Third down, 15, ball on the 15. Now's not the time for a blown coverage. This quarterback is in the zone. And they hit him in the backfield. Army calls a timeout. punt it away he gets it away number 87 takes it to 45 the offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession going three and out it's first and ten ball right around midfield number 44 wants the ball we'll see if they give it to him He's going right. Incomplete pass. Second and ten. Ball right around midfield. He drops back. He wants it all going long. And that one's fallen incomplete. A little laundry on the field. And we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. 10-yard penalty. Still he looks like he had a handful of jersey on that one. You know, you can get away with a little holding, but hey, you can't do that. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 39. And this 
this stadium is getting loud. Back to pass. Let's it fly. And it's caught. Loss of two. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 37. The defense lines up with six DBs. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Long ball, right side. Got it. And he's taken down. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was taking touchdown. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. Home run ball in the air. Batted ball. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. There's no one there, bro. Second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Broke away from one. Someone got a hand on it. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kurt. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Six DBs in the lineup. Back to pass. And he's going to come up with a sack. The tackle got embarrassed that time, allowing the end to come free for the sack. That's what you call a lookout block. The tackle gets beat and yells, look out! Trust me, it's not what you want to hear as a quarterback. Army takes a timeout. like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance. And it sails through the uprights. And now we're going to take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Number 16 looks ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number 84 fields it in the end zone. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Army 10, Notre Dame 7. Army got the ball to start the game, so they'll be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 18. 18-yard line, 1st and 10. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. And down he goes. The fullback picks up about three yards on that carry. 
Second and seven. Ball on the 21. They'll drop him for a loss. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 19. They'll bring in their dime package. Drops back to pass. He's rolling right. The ball is tipped. Got an opening. Touchdown, Army. And that was about the worst thing you could ask for. Oh, that hurts. The worst thing that can happen. And now you've got to regroup and try to get back on the field for another set of downs. And he tacks on the extra point. So with over seven minutes left here in the third quarter, the score, Army 17, Notre Dame 7. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Kicks it deep. Number 84 fields it in the end zone. This defense did a nice job last time around forcing the interception. And now you'll find out how much faith they got in this kid. Do they run the football or they let her rip? They'll get the ball here at the 20-yard line. The Irish line up in the power eye formation. Here's the give. Tackle. Three-yard gain by the running back. Three-yard gain on the play. Second and seven. Ball on their own 23. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. There's a play fake. Throws down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third and seven coming up here. Ball in the 23. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete. So the defense gets him to go three and out. Good job here defensively forcing this incomplete pass. Notre Dame ready to put this one away. Number 13 gets it off. Number 87 deals it at the 34. Can't wrap him up. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 39-yard line. Tries to do. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They got great run support from the safety position on that one. He had his eyes in the backfield that whole play. Great anticipation to stuff him for a loss. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. They come out of the bone here. They'll bring him down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes.
First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Makes a move. And he's taken down. That'll be a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 37-yard line. Number 40 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Takes off the tackle. And he's tackled. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Five-yard gain on the play. It's third down and three to go. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Army lines up in a goal line set. Hand off up the middle. Bounces off the would-be tackler. And down he goes. And the counter play gets him a first down. Runs like this keep him guessing. You got the defense worried about the running game, and that's when you catch him off guard with through the air. I wouldn't be surprised if they pass it right here, right now. Again with the run. Has some daylight. There's a missed tackle. Brought down. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. The Black Knights come out in a double wing. Up the middle. Breaks one. Tackle. Four-yard gain by the back. Number 44 is feeling it, and he wants the football in his hands. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He's knocked out of bounds. Well drawn up play for the halfback, and he took it to the end zone. Sometimes a running back can slip out of the backfield unnoticed, but if he does have a guy on him, it'll probably be single coverage. It makes throwing the ball in his direction a good option. And he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance now at the Pontiac drive summary. Army lines up for the kickoff. Number 82 and number 84 back ready to return. He hits a booming kick. Number 84 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Make the stop. He plows ahead for a two-yard gain. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 22. It's a full house backfield. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 19. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the right. It's tipped. And they couldn't hook up on that one. So they go three and out after that incompletion. Right. 
They line up to punt this one away. Number 87. Back deep to return. It's away and it's a booming punt. Number 87 takes it for 32. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll set up shot at the 36 yard line. And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. Up the middle, tackle. The running back gets two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 38. And he's taken down. The halfback runs for four yards. Third and four. Ball on the 42. Army will line up in a jumbo set here. He drops back. The throw. Complete. Inside the 30. And down he goes. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad. And that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. It's first and 10. Ball in the 25. And he's tackled. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. On the ground with the tailback. He's on the run, and he gets the touchdown. What a run. He really looked explosive on his way to the end zone. He's one of those guys that look a lot faster with the ball in his hand. And he tacks on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. Not a very good series for this offense on their last drive as they were forced into a three and out. Boy, oh boy, they had nothing going last time. Yeah, maybe, Scooter, you need to get out there and show them what you're made of. Somebody give me a helmet quickly. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. Hand off. And now he's got room to run. And he's taken down. He got a really nice gain on that run. I'm going to tell you, I think the defense needs to make some adjustments. Maybe move eight or nine guys into the box. Coach, maybe they can slow this running game down. You're right, Kirk. Heck, I could run through those holes. First and ten. Ball on their own 30. 
Notre Dame lines up in the bone. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he laterals it. Here he goes. Brought down at the 46-yard line. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running line. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. He'll get the call again. And he stopped behind the line. They gave the fullback a shot at picking up yardage, but he couldn't get anything. That was a beautiful thing to see that defense crash in and bust up the play. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. They're lining up in the 5-2. Drops back to pass. He's going right. It's deflected. And this one's going to get intercepted. Tackle. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game. And that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. Now he's got to go back out there and play smarter football when the offense takes the field again. You're right, Coach. The quarterback has to be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. They'll get the ball here at the 49-yard line. The Black Knights line up in a double wing. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll drop him for a loss. Nothing gained on the play. And that's the end of the third quarter. Our score in this one, Army 31, Notre Dame 7. Second and 10, ball on the 49-yard line. Up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 48. The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass. Throw short. And it's caught. He might have a chance. Jukbu to the 20. To the 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Well, Coach, that's the second time the running back has gotten open for a touchdown. What does the defense have to do to stop an all-purpose back like this? Well, for starters, they need to put a spy on him at all times and let the good fans know what that'll do. It should prevent him from sneaking out of the backfield and getting so wide open. You get one guy at him, and you say, look, cover the half that period. It's your responsibility. And he hits the PAT. So with over seven minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Army 38, Notre Dame 7. Number 16 is lined up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. 
I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? Well, I mean, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know that, man. <laughs> Throws a lob pass out to the right. This tackle, and they hit him in the backfield. Seven-yard loss on the play. Seven-yard loss on the play. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 14-yard line. He drops back. He steps up across the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's taken down. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. Got to learn to take the sack. On the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Instead of running up the score, they put the backup quarterback into the game. They'll work the left side. Here he goes! Touchdown, Black Knights. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy looks very impressive. When he has the ball in his hands, good things always seem to happen. And he tacks on the extra point. Kick this one off. Number 84 and number 82 deep to return. He sends this one deep. Number 82 fields it in the end zone. Great job by the defense last time forcing the pick. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few runs here by the offense to start things off. They'll start this drive at the 20. for a loss. Looks to have been shaken up a bit on that play. Yeah, I don't think it's too serious though, guys. He's a tough athlete. I think we'll see him back in this game. Second it's second down and 12 to go. Ball on the 18. Wrestle him down in the backfield. Nice play by the linebacker. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 17-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Drop back to pass. He's looking. Over the middle. And down he goes. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. The Fighting Irish are lining up to punt it away. He gets it off. Number 87 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 29-yard line. This is where I look for the defense to clamp down after some sloppy tackling the last time. They let this offense run all over them, all the way to the end zone, and I don't see that happening again. They'll go to work at the 29. Power eye set. He is drilled. 
Nothing going on that one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball in the 29. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. Brought down. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 33. Army going with the wishbone here. Inside you. They'll drop him for a loss. The offense will leave the field after failing to get a first down. And give credit to the defensive players who made the necessary stops on that sequence of plays. They line up to punt this one away. Number 20 gets it off. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 33. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're making the build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll set up shot at the 36-yard line. And the fullback busts through for about seven yards. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 43. Sheds that one. They'll bring him down. And they get the first down. Just a simple give to the fullback, and he gets enough for the first. I like this call. Short yardage situation. Just give it to the big guy. Right. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. Yeah. The Fighting Irish with a full house backfield. They go with a run. Some shenanigans. Got some open field. Inside the 30. To the 10, and it pays off. Touchdown. The halfback got the call and was able to carry it to Pater. Yeah, looking smooth out there. He's one of those guys they can count on for big play. He hits the PAT. So with less than four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, our score, Army 45, Notre Dame 14. like we're about to see the most exciting play in football the onside kick with the onside kick excellent field position to start the drive they're really struggling now as this crowd is going absolutely insane the middle he's gobbled up in the backfield and there's a penalty on the play let's see who it's on holding on the offense 
10 yard penalty. Still so instead down. of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. First and long. Ball in their own 47. Army going with the power eye. He lost the ball. Now the defense has it. The safety sheds a tackler. And this could be a big return down the sideline. To the 20, to the 10. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Well, it looks like they have another chance now with that fumble recovery. I don't know how much of a chance that is. They're getting blown out. We'll see. I've seen stranger things happen in a football game. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is Army 45, Notre Dame 21. They need to get the ball back. Looks like they'll line up for the onside kick. Here goes nothing. Will be enough to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Power eye set. They run a counter. Tackle. Six yard pickup. Six on the play. It's second down and four to go. Ball on the 36. Army comes out in a double wing. the stop picked up a first down on that carry yeah a good job up front by the offensive line they picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage the black knights line up in the power eye formation and he's tackled a pickup of four on the play gain of four on the play Second and six. Ball on the 28. The Black Knights come out of the power eye. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. Third down and 10 coming up. This is the fifth play of this drive. Six DBs in the lineup. Irish call for a timeout and that was their first timeout. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. And it sails through the upright. Here's the Pontiac drive summary bringing you fuel for the soul.
Army lines up for the kickoff. Number 84 and number 82 back deep to return. He puts it deep downfield. Number 84 fields it in the end zone. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. They'll line up in the power eye. Pullback, handoff. And they make the stop. Notre Dame calls a timeout. Second and three coming up. Ball on the 30-yard line. This defense better be careful. The quarterback is in the zone and really feeling it out there. They'll give it off here. And they got him for a loss. Look at that. The blitz just threw off their blocking assignments. And that's why this running back is looking for his mouthpiece right now. They're going to come out on the losing end of this one. But I guess that's what happens when their go-to guy at receiver doesn't make enough plays. That's exactly right, Brad. He's the biggest weapon on this entire offense, and him not showing up really hurt their chances of pulling off a win. And that's too bad, too, because I was looking forward to seeing this guy put on a show. It's first and 10, all on their own 35. The Fighting Irish with a full hop backfield. They go with a toss. Here's an opening down the sideline. Inside the 30 to the 10. Goodbye. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Well, it doesn't look like it's too serious, guys, but you never know. Sometimes those small injuries turn into season-ending ones. Tacks on the extra point. So here's the Pontiac drive summary to recap what just happened. Folks, that pretty much wraps this one up. All they can do now is watch the clock tick away. Yeah, but it wouldn't have mattered even if they recovered it. This one's been over for a while now. They'll take over at the 42-yard line, and they'll play it safe and take a knee. And he takes a knee. Second down and 12 to go. Ball in the 44. And that's pretty much going to do it. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Army faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. The fine folks at EA Sports, thank you for tuning in to this contest of NCAA Football 2006. The final score, Army 48, Notre Dame 28. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.